Greetings, everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3! This is part 13, and 13 is one of my favorite numbers. <laughs> well, this last part was kind of embarrassing. We appear to have accomplished our mission, but then Wes told us that we did not steal the right thing. And in fact, he didn't treat us very nicely. He called Duster a moron. I mean, what person of the right mind calls Duster a moron? There I go again, sounding like a Duster fam girl again. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, now we have to go back to Osohe Castle and steal the right thing. <laughs> and I have no idea what that thing is, because Wes never bothered to tell us. <sighs> but seriously, I mean, it's just not fair. How could anybody call us a moron when... Well, actually, since all these shops are open, let's see what's in them. Uh, who do we have here? We have Abbott. We're not in a hurry, we're just visiting people for the heck of it. What, we can't go in here? Oh, we can. Who's in here? Eh. I don't think any of these people will be too important. But wait a minute, I think this... This house might be... Let's see... What's up? <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, I guess this is early morning. This music is kind of neat. Let's save for the heck of it. Except now we got Wes in our party. Let's go. Back to the castle. Wait, what? What's going on? Huh? What's that odd sound? You, uh, you tell me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't have let down the drawbridge. Maybe I should have gone back through the secret entrances after all. Lesson learned. Do not listen to Nippolite. I repeat, do not listen to Nippolite. Ah! Look at those pig mouths. They're just marching in. Oh dear, this does not look good. <laughs> what are they trying to do? I hope they're not going after the object that Wes told me to find. Although, if I can't get in there, I don't think a pig mouse can get in there either, so... I think we're pretty safe here. We just have to be sure. Uh... Let's just follow these tracks. What's going on? Nippolite! Ow, 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 ow! I sure wound up in a bit of trouble that I did! Some pig-looking guys just bust right into the castle! If you're going inside, do be careful! Uh... Well, you shouldn't have trolled me to lower the the drawbridge, dude. I mean, the enemy totally could have snuck in. Ah. I do apologize in advance if I'm saying words like totally and dude so often. I think that I think that's honestly just a byproduct of me living in California. <laughs> in all honesty. What's going on? Oh, great. What are those pig masks doing? Oh, dear. What's that thing? What? What? They're torturing it like they tortured that caribou. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You have to find a clay man? Oh dear. Uh, can we wall staple it? Yes, we can. Hey, Wes actually attacks. Now, Wes is actually a very useful party member. He'll actually do useful things, unlike Alec and, um, Fuel and all those other people. Yay, 60 head combo. Ha ha ha, you still can't move because I wall stapled you. Ha! What are you gonna do now? A bum rush, oh dear. Let's wall staple you again. Ha 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 I love wall staples. Wow, Wes threw a thunder bomb. Wes is so helpful. Ah. Ooh, a secret thief art technique. Nice. 117 damage. Now that is Wes's most powerful attack right there. Well, we did 106 damage. What? Ah, great. I think I have to, like, heal now. Uh, let's eat a beef jerky. What? What do you think throwing a sock will do? Like, seriously. Socks don't work against Clayman. Seriously. Let's use another wall staple. These wall staples- I love these wall staples. 
Hey, it's gone already. Yay! Ah, about time we leveled up. We didn't level up against Mr. Passion, so I guess we have to level up against this guy. Hey! Stop torturing it! We already heard it! I mean, ah... Poor Clayman. Poor Clayman. Well, now what do we do? Well, let's heal at the hot spring, I guess. That Clayman sure took a bee. Maybe we didn't need to eat that beef jerky. I should have saved it for later. Oh well. Too late for that now. Ah. Yeah, this is one reason why this chapter 2 is one of my favorite chapters. It's like we get all hyped up about our first thieving mission and then, oh dear. Wow, we actually get to fight a pig mask. I love this. Oh, wow. I love this music. Wait a minute, what happened? Was through one of Duster's socks and the pig mask body solidified. How did that happen? That, that has never happened before to me in this game. <laughs> wow. Wow. That pig mask was easy, though. A bag of pork chips. Wow. Let's find another pig mask. Here, piggy, 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 piggy. What? Wall staples didn't work? Yay, Thunderbomb. Well, these pig masks are weak. More pork chips. Uh let's throw away an edible mushroom. Those don't do those don't heal a lot. Uh, do we have any nut breads? Yeah, let's eat one. Whoa! Okay, now this thing right here is a Reckon Mech, and I'm going to get rid of it first, because it can call for help and it can summon more pig masks. So, let's get rid of it. Ah! See? Right there, it's sounding an alarm. Oh, nobody came. That was lucky. Wes, we have to attack the Reckon Mech. Okay, good. It's gone. I love this music. Okay. <laughs> I love that music too much. Maybe that's why I'm so... But have so, having so much fun fighting these pig masks. There's nothing in there. Let's head to the top floor. Okay, fine. Let's find another pig mask. Okay, that was weird. In that battle, that pig mask apologized profusely. <laughs> Why would a pig mask apologize? That just doesn't sound right. Okay, whatever. Let's just go to the top floor. Oh wow, the arachnids are gone. That's surprising. Uh, we still have to... Oh, look at this! These ghost knights have been scrapped. Pig mask. Okay, those pig masks are so easy now. <laughs> All right, let's go to the top floor. Let's use our rope snake again. Ah! Yay! And fight a carpet monster. Wow, at least Duster does more damage than Wes in these battles. Okay, we don't need to go into that room. Let's go up here. Are the rock and ghosts still there? Yes, they are! Ah! Once you have a party, once you have somebody else in your party, it makes it harder for- it makes it harder to dodge these enemies. Yeah, Wes, that was your fault, making me fighting- making, making me fight these rockin' ghosts. Wow, the Thunder Bomb actually hits both enemies, that's helpful. Okay, I forgive you. 
Yay, it's gone. Secret thief art technique. Yay, thank you, Wes. Okay, I'll forgive you for making me fight those things. And I leveled up. <laughs> Never have too much beef jerky. In fact, we should probably eat something because our inventory is full. Uh, let's eat a bag of pork chips. Greasy junk food. <laughs> oh dear. Now that thing only took th only took six hits. That's interesting. So here's where Mr. Mr. Passion was earlier. Uh, dude, there's nothing past here. We hit a dead end. See? The real treasure is farther inside. How do we open this door? That's why I couldn't get anything else, because it appears someone has opened this door. Wait, what? Very recently, too. I believe only the princess has the ability to open the secret door. Okay, I guess we need to get her here and have her open the door. Duster. This is embarrassing. Turn the other way. Uh-oh, is this what I think it is? Oh, this is so fun to watch. <laughs> Wes is about to do something really cool here. <laughs> go Wes! Go Wes! Yay! <laughs> oh, you were so good to stick your butt out. Look, you're doing it right now. Go Wes! 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 Yay! <laughs> Oh my gosh, a dancing opens the door. <laughs> I believe I taught you this dance when you were still very young. Well, how do you expect me to remember it? I mean, I don't even remember... I mean, I myself don't even remember the dance routines that I learned when I was eight. So, I even told you a million, a million times, do it whenever you find yourself stuck. That was a very embarrassing dance. I cannot imagine Duster doing that. The princess most likely went through here. And those pig fellows are probably still inside the castle as well. So we need to be careful. You moron. Fine. Save frog, let's save. Trash can room? What's inside the trash can? Uh... What's that? A needle-like object protrudes from the ground in the courtyard. And I believe that needle will become important much later on in the game, but let's not worry about it for now. Oh, is that the thing that's been passed down in Asuhe Castle since ancient times? I remember way back when, when I asked King Hosohe what it is. His normally gentle expression suddenly turned stern, and he said, Forget about it. Okay, I was totally trying to do a, no a New York accent there, but failed. Maybe it's because I'm not from New York. My parents are, but I'm not. <laughs> this isn't a certain important item I speak of. Well, of course, because you can't remove it. It's like a sword on the stone. Sort of. <laughs> what? 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 What was that? What was that? Oh! Hello! Wes? Is that you, you old geezer? Oh. I believe this is where we introduce the princess. Oh, princess, so it was you. My, how this brings back memories. Sometimes I wouldn't remember you for not but a little bit. No, 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 wait, I'm so giddy that I've mixed up my words. I haven't forgotten about you for but a bit. No, no, wait. Wes. <laughs> Just are you moron, get your act together. Uh, whatever. I got my leg cut in a stupid ass trap. <laughs> She says ass in this translation. See, this is why it's a fan translation not, rather than an official one. <laughs> I can't afford to die here, so I was just thinking about cutting my foot off. What? No! Don't do that! Your foot is pretty. It is fit for a glass slipper. For me and my thief arts, a trap of this sort is absolutely nothing to ever worry about. Not never. <laughs> Wes, you really are mixing up your words. That was a relief. Ah, yay, the princess is all right. Here's your pendant. So you stole it, huh? I didn't steal it, you dropped it. 
Just because I'm a thief doesn't mean I steal everything in sight. Doesn't mean I'm a kleptomaniac or whatever. Damn, come up a goddamn rave in a second. Gee, is your son geezer? Hmm. His breath kind of stinks. Well, actually, my breath kind of stinks now, too. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. <laughs> Your name's Duster, huh? My name is... Oh, wow, we have to name her. Now, the default name for this character is Kumatora, which literally means bear tiger in Japanese. Kind of a weird name, if you ask me. So I'm gonna name her something different out of one of my old rivals on this one message board. And I believe she's also the name of an anime character or something, but I can't really tell. But I just really like this name, Raiha, which has something to do with thunder, which makes sense because she will get the ability to cast thunder spells at some point. A strong, wise, and rather masculine girl. Yeah, the name Raiha kind of sums her up in that sense. Okay, Ska. Okay, Deska. Okay, Desine. <laughs> Raiha, good to meet ya. <laughs> All right, Raiha. What are you doing? Let's go! Okay. Wherever you are, you headed, princess. Uh, isn't it obvious? You guys are here for a two, ain't ya? But your leg is injured. Just a little spit on it, it'll be good as new. Wow, you have the exact same attitude as Lighter does. Let's move! <laughs> hey, he's his son. Escort me, will ya? Jeez. What, am I supposed to be your knight in shining armor? Hey, Raiha joined our party. Nice. Oh dear, am I running out of time? I am so running out of time, aren't I? Uh... Well... Well, we got Raiha in our party. That is the important thing. I think I might have to call it video for now, though, because I think we are getting close to our 20-minute time limit. But first, let's check out Raiha, actually. So she starts at level 10. Not too bad. So, she's not very good. She doesn't really have very good stats or anything, but she does have a pretty high IQ, so I guess that's saying something. And her skills are psychic powers, actually. And currently, she has two psychic abilities, PK Fire and PK Freeze, which do fire and ice damage. And I think that's what her original name, Kumatora, was a reference to, was that the bear provides the ice, as in a polar bear, and the tiger provides fire. Maybe. That's where I think she got her name, at least. So, that is Kibatora, or as I'm calling her, Raiha. So, I will see you later on, part 14 of Let's Play Mother 3.